And for two-year-old Philly Trotters, 131,000 on the line, and the call up, Jack Gallagher. First, 131,325 behind the gate, moving up. They're off along the inside. There goes my favorite chip out with AJ's baby doll for the lead. Out in the center of the track, Spellbound Hanover between horses. That's Family Trust. Hushabun trots up into fifth. Then comes Luck of the Day, followed by Benedicted Jet. The trailer is Scully FBI. They move around the turn and from the outside now, Spellbound Hanover battling with... AJ's Baby Doll, two lanes further back to my favorite chip. Hushabun came away fourth, 29 flat. And from the outside, Spellbound Hanover up to get a short lead now. Spellbound Hanover clears. AJ's Baby Doll back to second, two, two and a half lanes. My favorite chip is next. Hushabun comes to the outside from fourth. It's three lanes back to Family Trust. Then it's luck of the day. The trailers are Benedicta Jet. Scully FBI is at the end. Into the clubhouse turn. Spellbound Hanover. Leads it. AJ's Baby Doll sits in second. Hushabun up on the outside, followed by my favorite chip in fourth. Coming to the outside now, Family Trust is into fifth. Lug of the day on the outside, sixth. Then it's Benedict Jet, Scully FBI, 59 and two fifths. They head up the back stretch. Spellbound Hanover continues to lead the way. Hushabun is on the outside, followed by AJ's Baby Doll. Covered up there, that's Family Trust in fourth. My favorite chip back to fifth. Third over is Luck of the Day trapped inside Benedict the Jet Scully FBI the outside 129 and three and there goes Spellbound Hanover now opening up two lanes over AJ's Baby Doll toward the inside that's my favorite chip three wide is Family Trust they come toward the top of the stretch and Spellbound Hanover is off by three AJ's Baby Doll giving chase followed by my favorite chip getting loose now and moving to the outside is Benedict the Jet they come through the stretch and Spellbound Bound Hanover does it again. Spellbound Hanover wins by four. AJ's Baby Doll and Benedicta Jet. 159 and one. It's almost, and she's laying there quietly because she knows that a good filly that she is. She's made over 700, almost $750,000 now, actually over it. Or close to it anyway. That's here nor there. Bill Pop, Bill Popfinger in the winner's circle with happy owner Bill Mulligan. And this filly is a horse that all of us like though, and you get a good trotter and a young one perfectly gated, and boy, you can really rake it in, and this one and, is. Uh, Bill and Mulligan is a gentleman who's been in the sport for quite a few years, and I don't think you've ever had anything like Spellbound Hanover before. No, no we never had anything that approached Spellbound Hanover. I, uh, I've been around these horses since I was a kid, mm -hmm. and I've owned them for over uh, 50 years, mm -hmm. and we've never had anything that quite measured up to her. Are you a trotting man, or doesn't it matter? Uh, I am now. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I, I prefer trotting horses, and uh, I do some driving in the amateur races. Uh, uh, I'm retired now, and I've got time to commit to it. Uh, I thoroughly enjoy it, and this horse has just been incredible. Uh, when you bought her, uh, what did you think? Was she just a, a potential uh, uh, favorite for you? Was it for potential broodmare ranks, or what were your thoughts? Uh, Bill Popfinger and I went down to Hanover Shoe Farms before the sales, and we looked at uh, several of Phillies. I was interested in fillies. I have a, uh, a stud uh, party party. He's a Valley Victory horse. And uh, I was looking to something that might cross with him. Uh, we looked at many of the fillies. Uh, we liked her the best. And uh, she was number 13 in the catalog, which, uh, uh, you know, I never thought about that till later. <laughs> but I'm not very superstitious. But I, uh, uh, she came up early. I was surprised that uh, she brought only $35,000. I couldn't believe it. I was prepared to pay a great deal more for her because we did like her a lot. And from the get-go, uh, I go down to Florida during the winter and I drive across. Uh, we're over in Naples and she's being trained on the East Coast. I drive over there a couple times a week and I trained her all winter long. And I told Billy, uh, I said, you know, I think we got the buy of the sale. And I mean, she, she just from the very beginning, she was just very unusual.
Well, for you, for uh, Bill Popfinger, who's been a veteran horseman, and for John Campbell, it's been a great season for you. And uh, what is it up in the air at New Hope, Pennsylvania, with the Siegel success and yourself? It's been uh, uh, quite a quite an area to be from. Yeah, well, I... Uh I uh, would like to give credit to the area. I hope that's what it is because I'm living there now and uh, looking forward to more of it. Uh, but it's, uh, it's a great place to be. Well, thank you very much. Bill Mulligan with his pride and joy. Spellbound Hanover winner of the Matron Stake. More stakes activity.